If, like us, you think Fritillaria imperialis is one of the prettiest of all of the spring flowering bulbs, then you're going to need to know how to take care of it. This is the pot that we grew our Fritillaria imperialis in last year. We're going to tip it out, show you how to clean the bulb, and then we'll tell you how to store it. As you can see, here's the bulb. You'll also notice that there's a lot of rock that was underneath the bulb. That's to improve the drainage. We'll take it right out and see how it's going. There's the bulb. We'll clean it off and we'll show you why Fritillaria imperialis need to be lifted over winter in our climate. You can see in the centre of the bulb there's a sort of a hollow or a hole where the stem was. What happens if you leave these bulbs in the ground they can get too wet and if the moisture gets into that hole where the stem was then the bulbs will just rot and they'll be well, they'll disappear before the next season. So, we take them out of the ground and we store them in a cool, dry place until we're ready to replant them. Once you're ready to replant your Fritillaria imperialis, what we like to do is to fill a large container until it's around about five to six inches from the top of the pot. We'll then put in a good inch of coarse gravel We'll place the bulb on its side, on top of the gravel, and then we'll backfill with a really good potting soil. In this container here, we've got some well-rotted compost. We've added some bone meal, or blood and bone. And we've also added a little cow manure. We'll use that to top up the container where the bulb is. Now that we've planted our Fritillaria imperialis, we're going to water it in with a liquid seaweed fertiliser. After we've done that, we're going to keep it in a fairly dry position over winter. We'll make sure that the potting mix doesn't dry out completely, but we're certainly going to make sure that it doesn't get wet and soggy. You can place it in a protected position, perhaps under the eaves of a house. When it comes to spring, it's time to water the plant you'll see new signs of growth coming. As soon as you do, you can start to fertilise. Again, you can use a liquid seaweed fertiliser or you can top it up with something a little bit stronger, a specialist bulb food. As the plant grows, you'll see the wonderful flower spike emerging and there you'll have it. By mid-spring, the beautiful Fritillaria imperialis. It's just one of the many Fritillaria species that you can grow in your garden and you can find out more about them by subscribing to our YouTube channel. By subscribing, you'll receive regular updates on our new videos on how to grow all sorts of plants, including many wonderful rare flowering bulbs.